tooth numbering system. Why do we need such system? We need it for documentation mainly. Various systems are introduced. Each system has its own pros and cons. Here we are going to read about three such systems that is Zygmunt D. Palmer system, universal numbering system and FDI system. Before starting with any of the system, get, let's get familiar with the quadrants. There is a horizontal line which divides maxillary arch and a mandibular arch. A vertical line which is midline and it divides right side and the left side. So we have four quadrants that is maxillary right, maxillary left, mandibular left, mandibular right. Coming to our first system that is Zygmunt D. Palmer system, it is a symbolic system where symbols are given to each quadrant and it's not very difficult to remember the symbols of the quadrants because the boundary of the quadrant is what it what makes it symbol. So for maxillary right quadrant the symbol is this maxillary left mandibular left mandibular right. Now for primary dentition we use alphabets A to E where A represents central incisor, B lateral incisor, C canine, D first molar and E represents second molar. These are written in this format. So if I say tooth number A, uh, no, no, not here. Let's take another, take an example, let's write it this way. Now, we know alphabets are for primary dentition, so primary. Then this symbol is for maxillary left. So maxillary left. And C stands for canine. So this symbol represents the tooth pri primary maxillary left canine. Same thing is followed in the permanent dentition. Here numbers are used instead of alphabet number 1 to 8 which denotes central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, premolar for 1 and 2, molar 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Again they are represented in this form. Let's take an example. Uh, let's write it to be uh, 5. Now, we know the numbers are used for permanent dentition and uh, this quadrant represent our mandibular left side and 5 stands for second premolar. So this symbol denotes the tooth permanent mandibular left second premolar. Now Zygmunt symbol is so easy to understand and so easy to draw yet it is not in day to day practice because these symbols are not compatible with our keyboards. We have no such key which can make these kind of symbols. Hence these are not in use and we require another system which is universal numbering system. In, univers in universal numbering system Alphabets and numbers are denoted to every tooth in the mouth. Primary dentitions are denoted with alphabet, uppercase alphabet A to T. Now, these alphabet moves in a clockwise direction where it starts from A, that is maxillary right second molar then comes to J that is maxillary left second molar then to K that is mandibular left second molar and ends at T that is mandibular right second molar. 
So if we say tooth P, we know that we are talking about central incisor of mandibular right arch. Mandibular arch right side. Coming to the permanent dentition, here we use numbers with the same way where it moves in a clockwise direction starting from 1 which denotes uh, maxillary right third molar, 16 that denotes maxillary left third molar, mandibular left third molar that is by 17 and 32 for mandibular right third molar. So if we take tooth number 10, we know that we are talking about permanent maxillary left lateral incisor. But what if this table is not here with us and we have to do this mentally. Let's take the number 24. We have to do a lot of mental calculation and draw this uh, 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 quadrant uh, in our head and realize it would take time to realize that 24 comes over here and represents central incisor. Similarly for primary dentition to if I say uh, E, it's quite simple that uh, but still we need to memorize and see that E comes here and it would be central incisor. Since this system requires lot of mental work, the system is also not in much use. So we are now here left with another system which is FDI system, two digit system, two digit, the uh, uh, first digit and a second digit, first digit for quadrant and second digit for tooth. This, this system is adopted by WHO and other organizations like International Association for Dental Resources. Let's see first primary quadrants and permanent quadrants. Primary and permanent quadrant, that is our first digit. Permanent quadrants are marked clockwise. One, two, three, four. And again, primary are also marked in a clockwise direction that is 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now the second digit. Second digit in primary dentition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This all represents different tooths where one stand for central incisor, two for lateral incisor, three for canine, four for first molar and five for second molar. Similarly in permanent dentition, one to eight in tooth numbering are made where one for central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar and third molar. Let's take an example. First for primary dentition, for primary dentition let's take uh, the number, tooth number 55, well the tooth number 55, you know first number represents our quadrant 5, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are quadrants of primary tooth, primary dentition and 5 represents the maxillary, so we'll write primary, then 5 represents our maxillary right and now the tooth, fifth tooth represents second molar, so 55 tooth is, 5, 5 tooth is primary maxillary right second molar. Now let's take another example like 36, we know the 3 is a quadrant of permanent dentition, 3 represents our mandibular 
left and the tooth number 6 is for first molar means tooth number 3 6 is permanent mandibular left first molar now this system is computer friendly does not need a lot of mental work quite simple thus it is widely used thank you for watching please like share and subscribe